Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, I wanted to discuss with you why you don't want to get in shape. And before I begin, I must address those who may be offended by my wording. And for those who aren't, please just hold on for a second. Look, I get that getting in shape is a loaded phrase, but for decades, getting in shape meant that you were just trying to lose some weight and get healthy. And if the seldom circumstance arose where someone told someone else to get in shape, it was typically a friend who noticed that their BFF may not have known that eating pizza and Ben and Jerry's for breakfast may not have been the best way to go. Today, those sentiments seem to be rapidly fading away. The top criticism is interpreting the phrase of getting in shape to mean that you're trying to force people, typically women, into an unattainable and unrealistic beauty standards. Now, I won't be getting into how accurate it is to put everyone in this box, but just know I am not trying to force people into an actual shape. I'm not trying to force anything. What I mean by getting in shape is to just get healthy and fit. No real shape in mind, but just a state of being that comes after several months and years of exercising and eating healthy. A place where you can lift a few pounds, run a few miles, and breathe easy. Look, we all have blind spots, and I'm just trying to help you see the car that you're about to sideswipe. So to start getting in shape, it's tedious and lengthy, okay? So it makes sense that no one wants to do it. If that's you, I get it. To be honest, that's been me as well. We're all creatures of habit and we love to be seated firmly on top of everything we do. But getting in shape knocks us down from this. It completely rearranges, removes, and adds into how we normally go about our day. Instead of smacking the snooze button five times and running through the McDonald's drive through on the way to work, you'll instead find yourself still maybe hitting snooze, but not at 7 a.m. No, no. Now your alarm will be buzzing at 5 a.m. And sorry to break it to you, but the McGriddle, it's bye-bye. You'll be embarking on a kind of yin and yang journey of halting old habits while trying to form new ones. This transition time can be pretty scary. I liken it to catching a transformer off guard mid-transformation. The first few weeks of fat burning will send many novices to a far distant place where they are exposed, confused, embarrassed, and clueless on what to do and where to go. States of being that not many people are comfortable with. Here lies part of the reason why many out of shape people don't want to get in shape. Again, it makes sense. For one thing, you get into the gym and are quickly confused by how alien the equipment looks and how your body is supposed to twist around to use it. Or you might find yourself embarrassed by the stark difference between the weight of dumbbells you pick up and what the dude in the halter top grabs. And it's not like it's an easy thing to ignore. The entire place is one huge house of mirrors. And then there's the exercises where you have to sit like this, squeeze that, push this, and try not to have some kid record you and put you on the internet. Don't forget about remembering how many reps and sets you should be performing, what your rest time should look like, and how this all plays out in your overall weight loss. It's like taking you back to your first day on the job. But now, you're in spandex. But hey, it's all doable. When trying to get in shape, you'll find that a large part of your battle will be fought here. These are the reasons why many people choose not to get in shape. If it's sounding like more of a mental battle than a physical one, it's because it is. Sure, you'll be sweating, sore, and tired, but more often than not, it's people's mind that tells them to stop far earlier than their body is ready to. The body will adapt and change. If you pick a good program and just follow it, you can trust that it's going to work. Because if you just exercise several times a week and eat less calories than you burn, everything else is just the branches that spring from the root. If you just do those things, you will lose weight and you will get in shape. The real difficulty lies with following the program or even deciding to find a program. The notion of not wanting to get in shape is not because the weight is too heavy. No, it's because you don't think you can weather the hurricane of negative thoughts that are going to be coming at you. Or you've already felt something that is very unpleasant and you would just choose not to continue. Now, the good news is that there is no real hurricane and what you felt was real 
but there was never a real threat. It's all just thoughts. And recognizing this is the first step. Now you must work to internalize the idea that these thoughts are unnecessary, counterproductive, and a complete fabrication by yours truly. And in the end, you'll have a few less reasons to not get in shape. So work on that and be happy, right? Because at least you're not heading to a body shop and calling your insurance agent. So good luck.